Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can create, uh, how we can fetch the plans from the database and uh, pass them to the plans page. So here we are getting the plans with plan ID. So every plan have a different ID and we stored these plans in the database and uh, also as well in the stride. So now the time is to build the checkout page when we click on any plan. So it will redirect us to the checkout page. So we build this uh, checkout uh, route. So now the time is to build its uh, method, right? So let's go here and uh, create this method. So it's a public function. Function and method name would be the checkout and this checkout accept a plan ID here, right? So which we are passing this from route. So here first we check that uh, if this id exists or not so how we can check that we can check that in the plan okay it's some i think it's a model plan yes it's a model plan because we are checking that in the laravel model so name not name it would be the plan id it's like uh, underscore id and then what is the id which we are getting this from the route parameter and we are finding this as first because there is only one so here we are checking that if plan not found so always prefer to use uh, first to uh, catch the error why because your application will never fail when you uh, catch your error uh, before processing anything so if something went wrong so it will uh, execute this it will not execute any more line uh, line below this one right so here i want to make this return redirect okay and uh, back uh, you can directly pass this back okay here like this and pass this with error property with errors and i want to pass this error a um, message or you can also pass an error uh no message is good so message would be the enable oops enable what are uh, enable to locate the plan right and here so here we are checking that if the plan not exist so uh, like this uh, otherwise it will show the plan right so let's click on any plan so it's uh, redirecting us and yes it's displaying the plan detail of basic because we clicked on basics if i click on the premium so it will display the display us the premium plan information right so let's uh, open this and yes it's a professional right so now the time is to uh, let me check that so let me uh, check this is this working without negation so when we click uh, click anywhere so it will display us uh, it will not display us anything why because we did not uh, we are not catching any error so let's catch error at the top so search it laravel any error okay so this is the uh, this is the laravel default behavior so let me find this from the laravel documentation okay so let me find this where it is okay okay and yes so uh, i'm getting this uh, here so give me a minute okay let's copy this and go back and in the in the checkout page so i not check out in the plans page here i want to display it at the top so let me add a new line here with the div dot row and here i want to display any error if there is any error so let's click on this so it will now print us an error that uh, plan unable to locate the plans right and yes it's displaying us but it's displaying at the top so uh, let me add this at the top so it will display exactly what we are looking for so click on any plan wait for a moment to complete this uh, process and uh, it's still uh, displaying this here so i don't know what's happening behind the scene 
why it is playing like this so i think uh, our main purpose is to focus on our topic so i'm not going to style this in the center and stuff like that so i'm going to uh, remain this uh, very simpler so we are displaying the message that enable to locate the plan right so in this way we can catch the exception so i'm changing this okay so we uh, get this plan id so now the time is to return this to uh, checkout page so we are going to uh, pass this plan to checkout so i created this checkout oops <laughs> let me uh, open this checkout here stripe and this one is a checkout page and uh, let me show you that how checkout page look like so it's an empty page right so i created this a uh, simple blade and here i need to pass this plan right which we are getting from the database so it's a plan this one it's, if this is not available it will throw error right so go here and here we need to we need some basic stuff like we created in our single chart so let's copy all of the stuff and uh, let's uh, open the checkout here and paste everything here so when i uh, i will get refreshed it will throw an error like intent not found because i uh, you know that we are using the intent right so let me pass an intent from there so uh, i need to pass this as an array because this it's a uh, what is the name of this first i need to pass the plan oops plan and then what is the second second one is intent okay and user having this intent so let me grab this at the top we already passed this intent so where it is so it's inside so let me get this from home controller so we are passing this intent here right copy this and i'm not going to waste the time on this so here we need to pass a login user so i'm passing this through this auth user here like this and we are getting the intent so now it will not uh, going to throw any error right so we are opening a subscription page so let me check the time it's going long so let me fix this uh, now in the next video we'll dis uh, uh, we successfully created our checkout page so in the next video you will display the plan uh, plan detail like we are getting the plan id and we will use this id here and display our plan name and more information right so i will meet you in the next one bye bye